Stewart in the gun. Takes the snap. Another handoff to Powell. This time he's going to get the first down and a lot more. He is off for a 48-yard touchdown run. Wow. Blue Devil running attack is going to continue. And, well, maybe not. Stewart drops back to pass, and he's being chased, and he's going to throw the ball, and he's going to complete it. Looked like to Anthony Powell, who makes it into the inside the 20-yard line into the 19. He'll take the snap, and he'll hand off again to Mentor going around the left side. And is he in for the touchdown? We'll see what the call is. The um, the official has given them the touchdown. So that is going to be another touchdown for the Celeste Blue Devils who take a 13 to nothing lead with 347 left in the first quarter. He takes a snap. Handoff. Uh, Looks like... The Tigers got the ball back. How about that? Thought I saw a fumble, and sure enough, White Wright comes away with the ball, and that is great for some to build some momentum for the White Wright Tigers, who are struggling a little bit offensively, and they'll see if they can capitalize off of that fumble recovery. Yancey lined up in the gun with three wide, four wide actually. Yancey back to pass, and a little too high there for Tyler Ball. Or, well, actually, Celeste got an interception out of that. How about that? Number six there, Tristan Slayton coming away with an interception for the Celeste Blue Devils. So they gave the ball up. Uh, Celeste fumbled the ball, gave the ball to White Wright, and White Wright was able to, to well, ended up giving it right back to them. First down, Stewart with the snap handoff to Powell, and he's going to be tackled in the backfield. Number 22, Ryan Parker making the play there. At their own 42. And here goes Yancey under center. Drops back to pass. Rolling, looking deep. And he's got a completion to Kenneth York. And he's tackled down at the five-yard line. And I'm sorry, that was Tyler Ball, not Kenneth York. But wow, what a huge play there by White Wright. And that's going to put him at the five-yard line with a minute left in the first half. Big play there by Tyler Ball on the completion from Colt Yancey. So here we are, Colt Yancey on third and goal. Yancey, oh, he's going to be sacked for a big loss. Looked like number 30 there, Jason Mentor, coming away with the sack. Backs them up to the nine-yard line. Not what you want there, so... Oh, a high snap over Ball's head, and he's just going to fall on it. At about the 21-yard line, that's, that is going to give Celeste some really good field position. Here's a handoff to Powell, and Powell makes it into about the 10-yard line, but the ball came out. I think White Rack got it. White Rack football, folks. The Tigers got the ball back. So it's going to bring up a fourth down, and this is not what you want. You don't want to be hunting from your own end zone, um, as a lot can really go wrong in that type of situation. So you got to be careful here. You don't want any um, bad snaps. Um, you got to get the punt away quickly, because you don't want it blocked in your own end zone, because... Nine times out of ten, that's going to result in a touchdown for a special team. So, you're going to have to tie the ball, really going to have to do his due diligence here and try to get this one away quickly. And it is blocked. And 
and Celeste is going to fall on it at around the four-yard line. That very thing that I had just mentioned, don't like punting from your own end zone because the potential of it being blocked and it ends up happening right there. So here we are at the four-yard line. Celeste is knocking on the door, looking to go up by three scores. Celeste still leading. Here we go. And here's the direct snap to Powell. This time he will get in. And that is going to give Celeste the 22 that they lead. Yancey got to go under center. Yancey takes the snap. He drops back to pass. He rolled, He's rolling out, but he's in trouble. He is sacked there by number 79. And that is going to be Wyatt Nowick coming up with the sack for the Celeste Blue Devils. And that is going to bring up another fourth down for the White Ride Tigers. Oh, he mishandles the snap. He, oh, wow. He tried to throw it away. Oh, no. Celeste scooped that up for a score. Looks like. Number three there of the Celeste Blue Devils, Aiden E. came away with the scoop and score for the touchdown for Celeste. Snap, but Yancey's able to get it, but he is going to be sacked. 